सेवेंथ डी मिस्टर सूरज तपान सेवेंथ डी एनी वे इन द ऑडियंस प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड टू द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द स्टेज फॉर द प्राइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन आई रिपीट सूरज तपान दलाई सेवेंथ डी इफ द चाइल्ड इज नॉट देर इफ इज पेरेंट्स इज देर प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड एंड मीट मिसिस विजय टू द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द स्टेज सम इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन नाउ our students will continue with the cultural program after this session now we invite our chief guest for the evening and other dignitaries on to the stage respected guests we request you kindly come up on the stage honorable chief guest shri govind das ji respected vice president ramachandran sir respected secretary shashi verma sir respected principal of secondary section and junior college mrs shija menon respected headmistress of primary section mrs justina raipan respected vice president of parent teacher association mrs vaishali jadhav eminent dignitaries in the audience my colleagues in teaching and non teaching staff parents well wishers and my dear students good evening and welcome once again amits us today our esteemed personalities who have graced this occasion their presence here resonates profoundly elevating the essence and prestige of a gathering we extend our gratitude for generously sharing their valuable time with us at the outset we would like to welcome each one of them i request our head boy master deep karanji of secondary section to present a bouquet to our chief guest shri govind das ji Now I request our assistant headmistress Mrs Lena Nair to present a gift to our chief guest A big round of applause Our students are eager to greet the dignitaries on the stage by presenting them with beautiful flowers symbolizing respect and honor. This gesture signifies appreciation for your presence and also reflects the warmth and graciousness of the event. I call upon our head girl Homera to welcome Vice President Ramachandran sir. I call upon our chief monitor for boys Aryan Ghak to welcome secretary Shashi Verma sir I call upon our chief monitor for girls Ruchita to welcome our principal Mrs Shija Menon
I call upon Ganga House Prefect Neha Salian to welcome our Headmistress of Primary Section, Mrs. Justina Rayapan. I call upon Himachal House Prefect Deepti to welcome Vice President of PTA, Mrs. Vaishali Jathav. Thank you, children. We have a galaxy of speakers on the stage today, but I would like to invite Ramachandran, sir, to give an introduction to our, of our chief guest, Shri Govindas Ji. Welcome, sir. Good evening, all of you. Namaskar. Respected chief guest of today, Mr. Govindas, Secretary Mr. Verma, Joint Secretary Mr. Yes Krishnan, Senior Member Mr. A.V. Ramanujam, my, our internal auditor Mr. G. Kannan, and Principal of Secondary and Higher Secondary Shija Ma'am, Principal of Pre-Primary and Primary Jasna Ma'am, Vice President of PTA, and my dear parents. It is a great honor for me to present the wonderful person who is sitting over here. And uh, very much attached to him because he has introduced my old friend where we are working together. Coming here. <coughs> Mr. Govindas is a well-known person in ISKCON. He is from ISKCON. And when I say ISKCON, you all know that it has got a tremendous followers around the world. I will not take much of a time because I know all people are waiting for getting the praises for the awards. So Govinda is a spiritual author, written many books like Mani and Mahabharata, Little Yogi in the Modern City, Karna on Trial, Wall, watch your choice and real side, quoting, I'm quoting some of the books. He has traveled length and width of India. He has traveled to foreign countries like West Indies. Just we were discussing over a cup of tea, he has shared his experience. And basically West Indies, a lot of Indians have migrated over there. And we couldn't get much time to discuss more. And there are many more information about him, be to paucity of time. I'm concluding my speech by welcoming our chief guest, who has accepted our invitation in a short notice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What a towering personality our chief guest is. After listening to the introduction, we are eager to hear his thoughts but before that, I would like to acquaint everyone with the achievements of our students in curricular and co-curricular activities. And for that, I would like to invite our leader, our principal, Mrs. Shija Menon. I request our principal to present the annual report to everyone. Welcome, ma'am. Good evening to all of you. Good evening to all of you. Louder. Good evening. That was quite loud. On behalf of Vivek Education Society, I welcome all of you to our 62nd annual gathering. This is an evening to be etched in our memory, an evening to be proud of, proud of our students' achievements an evening to be inspired and motivated. Well, parents, this is going to take 
quite a lot of time, so I want all of you to be seated tightly on your seat and be attentive because for the next coming few minutes, you all will be exercising, exercising with your hands. So, a loud round of applause for all of you. Before I present our annual report, let me share with you the message sent by our Honorable Education Minister, Shri Deepak Kesarkar, in a meeting conducted on 5th December 2023 for the principals on the occasion of the inaugural ceremony of Maharashtra Shashan, Shalya Shikshan Ani Krida Vibhag. Very few principals were invited and I was privileged and honored to be present in the August gathering. The details in the invite is put up on the screen for all of you to see. I hope it is visible on the screen. Yes, parents, I want your response. Is it available on the screen? Among the various schemes that were introduced, there are few in which I need the support of the parents. And what better opportunity than this gathering? To begin with, Maji Shala Sundar Shala. Maji Shala Maji Parasbhag, Swachata Monitor. Now, if you look at all these terms, these are all self explanatory. You don't need any explanation for this. The prime focus of the government, as well as our honorable ma management members, is cleanliness of the school and of the surrounding. So the primary focus is on cleanliness. I have a question for you parents. I want you to come out with the idea as to how to keep the school clean. Any parent can volunteer? How can you keep the school clean? Yes, anybody? How can you keep the school clean? You can raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. Yes, parent, how can you keep it clean? The simplest answer should be, we can keep the school clean as we keep our homes clean. You'll agree with me? Yes or no? So, here is another question. Dear parents, who do you think is the first role model of our children? Yes, who is the first role model? Is it MS Dhoni, Sachin Tendulkar, or Shah Rukh Khan? Who is the first role model? Yes, parents, I heard someone shout loudly. Yes, come on. Dhoni, it is the kids who are replying. Mind you, parents, it's the kids who, kids who are replying. I want the answers from the parents. Who is the first role model? Yes, I can see one hand going up. Yes, yes. Parents and teachers. She first took the name of parents. Right? She first called out parents. So, you all agree with her? Parents are the first role model, yes or no? Loudly, yes or no? Good. So parents, aap bacho ka pehla role model hai. So ye kitna bada zimmedari hai aap soch lo. So your behavior, your attitude, your approach towards life will influence our kids. Now, the next that you see on the screen is about the Mahavachan Utsav. Mahavachan Utsav. Yes, a reading festival. So, reading what? Can anybody tell? Reading what? Of course, reading textbook. Apart from that, is there anything else? Yes or no? So, 
apart from reading textbook you can also read newspapers or read anything that interests you it could be small uh, sports magazine it could be magazine on culinary skills it could be adventure books so you have wide variety of topics to choose from so parents agar aap apna screen time kam karoge ye बेनिफिट किसका होगा ये फायदा किसका होगा अगर आप स्क्रीन टाइम कम करोगे इट डेफिनेटली विल हेल्प योर किड्स सो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट एज पेरेंट्स वी हैव टू इनकलकेट रीडिंग हैबिट्स इन आवर चिल्ड्रन एज पेरेंट्स इफ यू हैव दीज थिंग्स इन योर डीएनए ये अगर आपके रगों में है इट विल डेफिनेटली बी पास ऑन टू द स्टूडेंट्स सो थ्री थिंग्स सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन cleanliness reading habits i assure you parents the rest everything will fall in place agar ye teen gun hai bachcho mein to baki sab apne aap sambhal jayega so please see to it that these three things are inculcated in the students i repeat self discipline reading habit and cleanliness and now let me present before you all our annual report i am honored to be to present this report on the occasion of the 62nd annual day program of our school this year's celebration marks another milestone in the rich history of our institution and it is with great pleasure and pride that i share the highlights of our achievements and activities of the past academic year on the onset let me congratulate our students who topped the ssc examination that is i'm referring to the batch 2223 miss arya tikam first rank holder scored 97.20% followed by master rudra tang who scored 96% and miss sahal riddhi who secured 93.20 the overall result was 97.05% Eight students secured 90% and above, and 110 students secured distinction. So, congratulations to all the toppers of our SSC batch. Dear parents, we feel proud to inform you that our institution has been accredited with ISO 21001/2018 by TUV Austria. The milestone. this milestone could not have been achieved hadn't it been for your support and coordination i always believe in the support of coordination of four great pillars our management members parents students and staff of all the different sections dear parents you are the wind beneath our wings you lift our students to greater heights with your love guidance and belief in the potential of every child vivek vidyalaya and junior college has been ranked number 1 in maharashtra and number 1 in mumbai in the state board category by education today dot co for the fifth consecutive time this ranking takes into account each and every aspect of pedagogy from infrastructure to sports from management support to feedback of parents from academics to co curricular activities from teaching learning process to it from seminars and training attended by the teachers to the length and breadth of our playground each and every aspect is considered before ranking so a loud round of applause for all of us moving ahead Vivek Vidyalaya and Junior College secured India K12 award for promoting enrich enrichment activities and skill development programs. We also received the best school award from Skillshare India and Ms Vasanth Priya got the best teacher award. In the Mimamsa School Award at the Principal's Conclave our school got the award under the category School with the best adaptive management system. 
And now, moving on to the community outreach and social initiatives. Most of the time, when we distribute forms to the students to collect money for any of these drives, we find the students hesitant. So parents, my request to you, please encourage the students because this is the way they learn to give back to the society. So here is the community outreach and social initiatives at Vivek. We believe in instilling a sense of social responsibility in our students. This year, we undertook several community outreach and social initiatives, namely the Smile Foundation, Shastra Sena Dwaj Nidhi or the Flag Day, the National Association for the Disabled, Foundation for Community Development and Healthcare, and the National Association for the Blind. The principal, Mrs. Shija Menon, was conferred with the Social Action Award organized by the Indian Development Foundation on the occasion of IDF Gratitude Day for the school's excellent participation in TB and Leprosy Awareness Program and Fund Mobilization Drive for Humanitarian Causes. Our teacher, Mrs. Sangeeta Tuscano, received the Best Teacher Award for Resource Mobilization as her class contributed the maximum amount for this noble cause. Parents, a loud round of applause. Two of our students, Ms. Harneet Kaur of 6th B and Master Viraj Vinayak Yadav of class 6th E was also honored and recognized for their valuable contribution to this noble cause. The South Indian Association Dombili High School and Junior College conducted Bharatiyar Day inter-school competition organized by the Tamil Literary Club. In the category for teachers, our teacher, Mr. Bharti Raman, secured the first prize. <laughs> Parents, we won't allow you to rest. You have to keep going, keep clapping. Our teacher, Mrs. Jia Luthira, had participated in the Astatva 0.4 competition, Punch and Munch, the Multiple Intelligence Festival conducted by St. John's Universal School, where she secured the first prize. <laughs> Rotary Club Mumbai West Coast Nation Builder Award was conferred upon our teacher, Mrs. Rucha Joshi, for her dedicated and sincere contribution to the field of education. Well, parents, if teachers can touch the stars, can students be far behind? In the Miss Bertha Pereira Memorial Inter-School Competition, our students secured the second prize in the Big Fat Indian Wedding Fashion Show, organized by St. Joseph School, Mallard. In the same competition, students secured the third prize in Urbanic India's Iconic Reflections. Our student, Master Atul Krishna Shiju, secured the third prize at ward level in the drawing competition. Well, I guess all of it can be seen on the screen, so keep applauding. Two of our students, Katkar Par Pandurang and Savratkar Rudrani Sachin, were bestowed with the Student of the Year Award for scoring maximum marks in Standard 9th, organized by the Times of India, Newspaper in Education, NIE. In the Sanskriti Inter-School Competition held at A.H. Wadia School, Ms. Hansika Salunke secured the third prize and Ms. Swara Salavi secured consolation prize respectively in the drawing competition. In the Masterpiece Drawing Competition held at Gopal Sharma Memorial School, a student Ms. Hanshika Santosh Salunkar secured the first prize. In the Anubrat Creativity Contest, three of our students secured the following prizes. Master Bhavyesh, first prize in solo singing. Aditi Singh, first prize in poetry recitation. And Swara, first prize in drawing competition. <laughs> Parents, it's only that I am reading the report. Actually, the exact term would be student speaks. Ms. Tanvi Santosh Pawar from Standard 9th secured special prize at ward level in the Hindu Rudai Samrat Bhala Sahib Thakre Bala Chitrakala Sparda held in the month of Jan 2023. 
Our scout and guide team won several prizes at the inter-school competition held at St. Louis School, Daiser, on the occasion of Thinking Day. The following are the prizes won by our students. Second prize in folk dance, third prize in rangoli. In the best patrol scouts category, our boys secured third prize. In the best patrol guides category, our girls secured second prize. And in the best out of waste competition, our scouts secured the third prize. A huge round of applause. In the Chinmaya Gita chanting competition, the following students have won the consolation prizes. Kanishka Saple, 6th E, Ayush Warrior, 8th A, Krutika Nilesh Vengulekar, 8th B, Shambhavi Batrapet, 8th B, Devangana Sanjeevan, 10th D, and Miss Tanvi Kamle, 10th A. In the Marathi essay writing competition organized by Swaragand, Kalamanch held at Nandadeep Vidyalaya, Goregao East. Our students secured the following prizes. Master Manthan Rajendra Ilkar secured the second prize. Ms. Gauri Shailesh Bogle and Ms. Krutya Nilesh Vengularikar secured the consolation prize. In the same event, the drawing competition, our student Ms. Tanvi Santosh Power secured the third prize. Ms. Shrushti Salvi secured the consolation prize. Ms. Anubhuti Srivastav secured the first prize. Ms. Suruti Tirumalai secured the second prize. Master Varad Tendulkar and Ms. Siddhi Chauhan secured the consolation prize. Now, moving on to the achievement in sports, I had to prepare a separate section for sports because here we have our golden boy. Now, to whom am I referring to, you will come to know in a short while. At the YMCA Athletic Championship, our golden boy, Master Tanish Gaddam, secured the gold medal in 300 meters run. In the SFA Athletics Meet under 16 category, he secured the gold medal in the 800 meters run. In the MSAA, Tanish Gadam secured two prizes, first prize in 800 meters and first prize in 300 meters as well. In the DSO Athletics Meet 2023 held at Somaya Ground Vidya Vihar, Tanish secured the bronze medal. In the boys under 17 category in the DSO Athletics Meet organized by the Sports Authority of India, Tanish secured gold in the 400 meters, 800 meters, and 1,500 meters run respectively. He also represented school at the state and national level. We wish him all the best for his future endeavors. I request Tanish and his father, if he's present here, to please come on stage along with the trophies. In the beginning, if you remember, I had mentioned that this evening will be an evening edged in our memory. This evening will be an evening which will inspire and motivate you all. Because we find that along with teachers' contribution, parents also play a great role. So here we have Tanish Gaddam, his father. Is his mother present? Please, please come. Please come.
deserve the award he received this evening and he came straight from MSSA ground to Vivi. So congratulations to the whole Gaddam family. So parents, I've kept my words. It's def definitely an evening to be inspired. We have another budding shooter here. Our student, Master Shubham Nitin Thate, secured bronze at the SFA Championship in shooting in the under 14 category. In the Mumbai Division Inter School Shooting Competition held at Panvel, he secured the silver medal. We are proud of both our students for representing our school at district level and hoping that they will perform even at the state and national level. Our best wishes to our students. I know you all are eager to see Master Shubham Nitin. He will be called in a short while during the prize distribution ceremony. Moving ahead, let us move on to the activities that we have undertaken for the whole year. Dr. A.P. Jairaman, a renowned scientist and his team, had visited Vivek Vidyalaya on 4th of December to conduct a session on bioacoustics and sound for the students of grade 6. He explained the whole theme with a small movie presented through PPT. Being a great storyteller, the students could instantly connect with him. Parents, I tell you, the students of 6th standard were very inquisitive to know about this bioacoustics. I think the view is visible on the screen. Our students of grade 8 and 9 got a chance to visit the US Consulate General Office and had adorned the role of climate warriors. Through different activities, they were enlightened about the change in climate and its harmful impact. It is believed that music has long-lasting impact on the personalities of those associated with it. Swaradhara music training is introduced and being imparted to our students using technology. Our teachers, Mr. Mangesh and Mrs. Deepmala, completed their basic course training in Scout and Guide. Annual sports meet was conducted on the 5th of December 2023 at Prabodhan Kridabhavan. The winners of various events were felicitated with medals, certificates, and trophies. Parents, ye dil mange more. We want many more of our students to come on stage to collect prizes. So please encourage them, motivate them. See to it that they not only excel in academics, but also in co-curricular activities. I extend my sincere gratitude to the entire Vivek family, honorable management, students, parents, teachers, and staff for their unwavering support and dedication. Together, we have created an environment that nurtures the potential of every individual associated with our institution. To conclude, the 62nd annual day program is a celebration of our collective achievements, growth, and commitment to excellence. As we look back on the past year with pride, we also look forward to the challenges and opportunities that the coming year will bring. Thank you for your constant support in steering our institutions towards greater heights. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra, Jai Vivek. Dhanyawad. Thank you, ma'am. Upon hearing this remarkable array of accomplishments, it's evident that our school has dedicated extensive efforts to establish its unique identity. We extend our gratitude, gratitude to all these achievers for bringing recognition and prestige to our great institution. And now, I would like to invite the most awaited speaker for the evening, none other than our chief guest for the function, Honorable Shri Govindas Ji, to address the gathering. Welcome, sir. Hey.
It's my great pleasure to be here amidst all the honorable chief guests or the management of the school. As I entered the school, the spirit was extremely strong. The name itself suggests Vivek Vidyalaya. The word Vivek is connected to sharp intelligence as against dumbness. There is a great educationalist who has written a book called as Dumbing Us Down. Hame mand buddhi kaise banana hai? The educationalist is called as John Gatto has written a book. Unfortunately, it is not problem of not having schools. In fact, the problem is having a wrong kinds of schools. There is a great educationalist in North India. He opened many schools, especially in the rural and semi-urban areas. After four and five years, he went talking to the parents. And he asked this question to the parents. आपको अपने बच्चों के बारे में क्या लगता है हमने क्या उनके जीवन में कुछ योगदान दिया हुआ है योगदान किया हुआ है एंड सरप्राइजिंगली एंड शॉकिंग टू हिम द पेरेंट्स नॉन चैलेंटली आंसर्ड यू नो व्हाट आपने हमारे बच्चों को बर्बाद कर दिया द रूरल पेरेंट्स टोल्ड he was stunned. He was shocked. I came here. He was an IITian from Kharagpur. He had an industry. He closed all of that down and came to start school to help children. But this is the response he got. And then when he came to the semi-urban parents asking them the question, and the parents answered to him, that aapne hamare bachchon ko bigaad diya. Wo achambit ho gaya, aashchari chakit ho gaya, ki aise kaise ho sakta hai. And based upon those statements, he changed the functioning of the school. And he wrote a small book called The Matter of Quality. I'll share a story with you there was a lawyer, a criminal lawyer, and they had a one son. Right? Previously, our ancestors managed 10 to 12 children without any difficulties. Agar ap kisi se puste ki aapne itne bachchon ko janma kyu diya? The parents would say, yahi hamari asli sampatti hai. अगर आज पूछो तो कहेंगे यही मेरा सबसे बड़ा बर्डन है, right? So this father, this criminal lawyer, was supposed to teach maths to his naughty, restless, and less interested son. क्योंकि उनकी पत्नी बता रही थी, eventually started teaching his son the mathematics, simple mathematics, because he was a small child. He asked this boy, my dear child, agar ek aam, agar ek aam ka rate 8 rupaya hai, to panch aam ke liye kitne paise dene pade gaya hai. It was a simple match. He was a third standard boy. Oh, sochne laga. And the father being a criminal lawyer, he had no more patience. And he increased his voice. He said, you idiot! Itna asan uttar nahi de sakte ho. And the son softly asked a very important question to his father. He said, Papa, aam kacha hai ya paka hai? And father screamed at him. He said, that does not matter whether it is raw or ripe. I need to know how many mangoes you get. If it is five mangoes you have to purchase. 
and the son said dad it does not matter i need to know whether it is raw or ripe it's not simply a story it was a conflict in regards to the preference of the father and the child the child was looking for an experience the child was looking for a quality and father was looking for a quantity now when you go back to your homes reflect upon this is there a conflict between quality and quantity which matters the most right does the quality matter the most or the quantity matters the most in fact both matter the most we will have the quantity nowadays to get 97 percentage we also run lot of schools i am connected to i am an educationalist running different kinds of schools one year in mumbai in our school more than 10 student got 97 plus percentage they were excited they were very happy but when they came out when they read the newspaper they realized there were more than 11000 students in bombay they had got more than 90% quantity is important but quality is also very important satisfaction is important but success is also very important therefore to make your children experience the character quality along with the quantity i will conclude because there are many other programs to do arjuna is considered as the greatest student he had a hunger for learning whatever his teacher would teach him in the morning he would practice in the entire night therefore his name was gudakesh right we go further ahead arjuna was supposed to face an important battle of his life and they were looking for alliance our children alliance ekatrit karne ke liye so he came to krishna looking for his support and duryodhan also came looking for krishna's support and both were relatives of krishna duryodhan's daughter was married to krishna's son and krishna's sister was married to arjuna they came looking for a support and what happened was krishna saw arjuna first he was resting and after arjuna got arjun krishna got up duryodhan told krishna are main pehle aaya hu i have come first it's my preference krishna said it's okay duryodhan arjun is younger i will ask him to choose it was a very easy test in one sense krishna told arjuna my dear arjun i have my army consisting of 1 crore soldiers they are as good as me do you want those 1 crore soldier as against choosing me that is krishna who will not raise the weapon ये बहुत सरल है युद्ध के लिए या किसी चुनाव के रैली के लिए आपको लोगों की आवश्यकता होती है एक व्यक्ति की आवश्यकता नहीं होती है एंड दुर्योधन सेड इट्स अ लॉस्ट कॉज अर्जुन इज गोड आस फॉर वन क्रोर आई टेल दिस स्टोरी टू द चिल्ड्रन आप छोटे बच्चों को बताओगे ना छोटे छोटे बच्चे होते हैं उनसे पूछो आपको पांच लाख रुपए चाहिए या माँ चाहिए तो बच्चे तुरंत कहते कि माँ चाहिए बट दैट वेरी चाइल्ड वन बिकम्स 18 ईयर ओल्ड यू आज दैट क्वेश्चन आपको माँ चाहिए या पांच लाख रुपए चाहिए वो कहेगा भी सोचना पड़ेगा राइट सो अर्जुन विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन ही टोल्ड कृष्णा यू नो वॉट आई हैव द रिसोर्सेस मैंने मेरे प्रयास से उन रिसोर्सेस को एकत्रित किया हुआ है I want your relationship. मुझे आपका संबंध चाहिए सामर्थ्य मेरे में है 
that is the combination of quantity and quality. When we raise our children with this combination of quantity and quality, they'll be there for you. Otherwise, unfortunately nowadays, in Mumbai, our grown-up children, when they get married, the girls, I am not blaming alone, when they have to go to somebody else's home, they ask this question, Kya ghar mein purane furniture hai? Agar purane furniture, furniture ghar mein hai, humko unke saath rehna nahi hai. They consider old parents to be the furniture. There is a school in Mumbai. They have a rule that if you have old parents in your home, do not send your children to our school because they are a bad influence. Kitana bada durbhagya deko. And therefore, do not only focus on the quantity. We glorify 40,000 runs scored by some great cricketers. Are 25,000 unhone score kiya. Unko Bharat Taratna bhi mil jata hai. Lekin there is one person. Aise bahut log hai. This man, last 40 years, when I speak about him, I just visited his school. Unke baare mein log jante bhi nahi hai. How many of you know Sachin Tendulkar? How many of you? Please raise your hands. Everybody knows. How many of you know Dr. Achyut Samant? Koi naam suna hai Achyut Samant ji ka? Very rare. Achyut Samant Bhuvaneshwar mein school chalate hai. Free school for the tribal children. Kitne bachche ho school mein? 40,000 tribal children last 40 years, unko jab 6 saal ke hote hai, udar le kar aate hai, till PhD they can stay there, free of cost, up until now, he has helped more than 40,000 children free of cost. When we know about them also, then ye jo mahan bharat hai na, to asli mein pragati karega, otherwise we will keep Fearing, feeling sorry कि रोहित शर्मा को मुंबई टीम से कप्तानी से निकाल दिया और ये सबसे बड़ा दुर्भाग्य होगा। Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, sir, for your valuable thoughts. Good narration on quality and quantity. Your advice. Your words will remain with us students and they will take important learnings from this. Not only the students, but uh, we all have benefited from listening to you. Next, I would like to invite our respected Vice President of PTA, Mrs. Vaishali Jadav, to address everyone. Welcome, ma'am. Good evening everyone, myself, Mrs. Vaishali Pramod Jadav, Vice President of PTA. It's great honor to stand here today and speak in front of you all on this occasion, the school's annual function. Today is a day of celebration, a day to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our teachers, students and non-teaching staff. This year has been an exceptional one of our and we have achieved many milestones together. From sports achievement to academic success, we have accomplished so much and made our school proud. I would like to extend myself, my, my heartfelt congratulations to all the award recipients today for their hard work and perseverance. Let us also take this opportunity to express us gratitude to our teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly to make our school to reach great heights, to, heights today. Your steady commitment to education 
and the growth of our student is truly inspiring. As a PTA member, I get the respect to be chosen as Vice President of PTA and as a parent. I am thankful to the school that I can see the growth of my child and developing self-confidence. Our school organizes many inter-school competition as my child takes part in every possible competitions and programs. I would like to suggest every parent and student present here to take interest and take part to make our education society proud. I would like to thank you for your time and attention. Thank you for the opportunity to speak in front of everyone present and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jai Maharashtra. Thank you, ma'am. Your support towards the school is highly appreciated. With the contribution, cooperation and support of our parents, our school is able to achieve this glory. So I thank all the parents on this day, which is also called as Parents' Day. Thank you all. Our students are eagerly waiting to receive their prizes at the hands of our chief guest, Sri Govind Dasji. I request our chief guest to kindly bless our prize winners. Captain R. Subramanian Memorial Rotating Trophy instituted by all his classmates of 1990-91 as a C badge awarded to the outstanding boy and girl of the year and the winners are Karanje Deep Nishikant of 10th C and Sheikh Humera of 10th C. Next, rolling trophy awarded to a student of secondary section who excels in information technology. This award is initiated by Master Anand Payal and Master Rajan and the entire batch of SSE 2012 and 2013 is backed by Bhavane Mukda Sanjay of 9th B. Cash prize awarded by Mrs. Renuka Anil Kumar uh, for students securing first prize in classical music competition goes to Shriya Dagare of 10th C. Audience, please applaud for all these prize winners. Next is the Resilience Award, a rolling trophy for students of secondary section for showing excellence in dealing with the obstacles in life and emerging a winner. It's initiated by Mrs. Biji Tushar, retired assistant headmistress of Vivek Vidyalai and sponsored by Mumbai Beard College. It goes to Mudari Atharva of 8th B.
Suraj Tappan of 7th D is absent. Next award is for the sports section. Two of our students have achieved remarkable successes in various athletic competitions. They have showcased exceptional skills. Uh, you heard our principal's in the annual report, two of our students, and I'm delighted to call Tanish Gaddam of 10th has shown remarkable achievements in various running competitions, won and won many laurels, and the list is long. It's an appreciation from the school for for bringing so many laurels to our school and thunderous applause, please. Next is Shubham Tathe of 8th Standard, who's represented school in rifle shooting and shown amazing results. Huge round of applause for these sports stars who have brought glory to our school. Next, we'll be felicitating our staff who have completed 15, 25 and 35 years of service. I request Ramachandran sir to join our chief guest for felicitating this. To begin with, Ms. Renuka Dev, former assistant HM, who has completed 35 years and retired in the month of uh, November 30, 2023. She is a dynamic leader, an inspiration to all, supportive, encouraging always. Please put your hands together. Next is Mrs. Namrata Shirodkar. She is a head clerk who has completed 35 years in this institution. As the name says, she is very polite and down to earth always, very cooperative. Please continue applauding. Next is a person who is very knowledgeable, resourceful and is great at managing co-curricular activities. Let me welcome Mr. Krishnakumar Naidu of Assistant Teacher who has completed 25 years. Next is a teacher, Jinki Prerana Daik Shikshani Hamare Vidyale Ko Garvashil Banaya Hai, Unka Yogdan Hame Hindi Bhasha Ke Prati Prerit Kiya Hai, Me Garvase Bulana Chahongi, Mrs. Bubli Karakwal, Assistant Teacher, who has completed 25 years of service. Next is a teacher who is admirable, knowledgeable, very calm and composed, passionate at her work. Please welcome Mrs. Jaya Unikrishnan, assistant teacher who has completed 15 years of service in this school. I thank the management for honoring the teachers and other staff for their long and dedicated service. Thank you for the encouragement. With this, we come to the close of the session.
But before that, I would like to request our headmistress, Mrs. Lena Nair, to render the vote of thanks. I thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. The remaining part of the cultural program will continue after the vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Arundhati. A warm and graceful evening to our honorable chief guest, honorable members of the governing council, respected principals of all section, worthy teachers, most valued parents, and my dear students and friends. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion of 62nd annual day program. I would like to express our deepest appreciation and gratitude to our esteemed chief guest and today's guest of honor, Sri Govindas Ji, for gracing the occasion with your presence. It's truly added significant aura of prestige and honor to this event. Thank you, sir, for enlightening with a story regarding the conflicts between the quantity and the quality. This program would not have achieved a greater height without the help and constant support and guidance from the president of Vivek Education Society, Sri Ram sir, who is not here, the vice president, Mr. Ram Chandran sir, the secretary, Shashi Verma sir. I would like to thank all the other members of the governing council for providing us with the resources and support to organizing, for organizing such an amazing event. I like to extend my sincere thanks to our dear principal, Mrs. Shrija Menon, for her dedication, hard work, and wholehearted support linked to us to make this event a successful one. A sincere thanks to all the principals of different various sections for gracing the occasion. My heartfelt gratitude to PTA Vice President, Mrs. Vaishali Jadav. Vivek Vidyalaya is fortunate to be backed by team of dedicated staff members, teaching, non-teaching, and supporting staff. I thank all of them for their tireless effort in organizing this event from planning and coordinating to decorating and executing. They have worked tirelessly behind the scene to ensure that everything goes smoothly and make this event a successful. A special thanks to Mrs. Sulabha Tirodka, Ms. Bhavna and the team members who have been the backbone of the today's event. A good parental support helps us to be positive, healthy and good life learners. Heartfelt thanks to our lovely supporting parents. Your devoted support and belief in our abilities have been pillar of strength throughout this journey. I will be failing in my duties if I don't thank the following members without whom this event would not be possible. Thank you, Mr. Sar Sharvin Desai and his team members for very effective and meticulous sound system. Thank you, our Bengali decorators, for the beautiful stage setup. A big thank you to our caterers, Mr. Sadashiv Shetty, for providing refreshment. My sincere thanks to Yadav sir for photography, Sri Khan sir for videography, securities and bouncers for maintaining discipline and ensuring the smooth functioning of the program. We are grateful to Mrs. Ashwini for the colorful costumes and to the volunteers for smooth conduct of the program. I express my gratitude to students and teachers who are also the choreographer of various cultural programs and anchors of today's event. A big thank you to Mrs. Jasbi from IT department for the PPT and Shahanawas Khan and Ankush for arranging the whole program on the big screen. A sincere thank you to Mr. Srikant who is telecasting the program live on the YouTube channel. Last but not the least, thank you to our most prized possession, 
the stars of the night our students who will be displaying exceptional talent and dedication to make this event more successful and memorable once again on behalf of Vivek Vidyale, I extend my heartfelt thanks to all who have contributed to the success of this event. May we continue to inspire and be inspired and may our future endeavors be filled with even greater accomplishment. Thank you so much. Please join us for our cultural program and applaud our students. Thank you.